Hey everybody, welcome to Build Fly Go. So one of the things that we're doing that is slightly different from stock is we're not using the regular seals for the doors. So the seals for the doors that come with the kit are on the doors. They go along the outside of the door here. Um, and I just wasn't terribly fond of how they looked and supposedly they tend to peel off and become a little finicky. So we decided to use the McMaster seal method, which is a little different. So the McMaster seals are called McMaster seals because they're seals that you buy from McMaster Car, which is a, a supply company. Um, I actually buy a lot of plumbing stuff from them, um, AN plumbing stuff <laughs> and other. Um, and you buy about 100 feet of this seal. Uh, there's the information on it. And it gets installed on the on the canopy itself. So what you do is you have to cut this flange off. If you look on the other side where the door is, you cut the flange off to a very specific spot. You make sure that there's a gap between the door and the flange, which is about a quarter of an inch, and that this is a quarter of an inch thick. What ends up happening is what you're seeing here is that you get a knife edge when you shave it back so that you have the proper gap from the seal to the door, the, this gap. Um, so you get a knife edge here. So you have to build up the back. There's a bunch of different methods of doing that from laying cloth to what we're doing here, which is you get some uh, sacrificial McMaster seal, you stuff it full of flocks and you shove it in place. And then you close the door on it and you let it sit. And the epoxy that's in here, you can see some of it oozing out the back, is going to form the, th the proper thickness of the lip that you need. So that's what we're working on today. We're setting up the McMaster seals. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Welcome back. So this is day two. We have put the, fill, the, the McMaster seal with the flocks fill on it overnight. I kept it nice and warm here in the workshop overnight so that the epoxy had a chance to seal. And you can see that this is definitely sacrificial seal, right? Like we won't really get to reuse this. I'm really, well, maybe, well, maybe I can clean this up, but don't, you know, it's reasonably cheap, don't bother. And it leaves sort of a really nice thickened finish, right? Like you can see it's, it's created this sort of lip in the back um, that matches the, the, the lip inside the, the seal. Let's see the right there. Um, and I really, it, it worked surprisingly well. <laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't think it was going to work this well. But yeah, here it is. So that was the process for the McMaster seal. Um, fill some sacrificial seal with uh, flocks, as you saw just earlier in the video. Flop it on and uh, let it sit overnight and then peel it off. Got a little bit of cleanup to do, of course, right? Like there's a bunch of uh, epoxy that needs to clean off, but with any luck, this is the right thickness now and uh, should look good. Thanks for watching.